Hi there, Neil from Dagnar Move. We're back on the point to hock with the Rangers and Crowbar from Flying Pig Games, designed of course by Herman Luckman. I'm going to do a playthrough video here. It's either going to be a edited highlights reel of a playthrough video or the first in the series, depending on how things go. This is quite a long game. I'm going to assume a degree of familiarity with the game as I go through. I did do a, a much more in-depth overview video quite recently, so please, if you are unfamiliar with the game completely, go and check that one out first, or an alternative uh, as you see fit. So where are we up to now in this beginning part of the game? Well, for ease of um, play, I've already done the pre-invasion approach. I've also carried out the Operation Flash Lump, uh, artillery bombardment up on the cliff top. For the purposes of highlighting what's happened, I've left the, the um, counters on the, on the board there. So we had a hit on the um, flat gun, uh, along with, uh, oh, it's actually a critical hit, which is what these asterisks means, which means the cliff side has basically collapsed under the artillery fire and we get ourselves a firm hold. We had another hit with a uh, cliff side collapse uh, just here in the centre where where Dog Company is. We completely eliminated a machine gun emplacement and collapsed the cliff side there uh, on the edge of Easy Company. And we managed to pin the command bunker in the far corner. In terms of the invasion approach itself, bit of a slow start if we're honest. The um, Fox Company here got uh, the supplies actually arrived before the rest of the forces, which may be a bit tricky for the poor supply unit that are there, much weaker, of course, than the other units. Um, but generally speaking, they are all a bit behind the times, but not so much as Dog Company, who have barely got off the starting line. Easy Company, though, have made much more progress. A couple of guys have got to the uh, the the beach there in the corner, unfortunately directly under machine gun and command bunker uh, firing range. Now we have taken one hit on the easy company unit there. So let's get cracking. Um, it is of course time to decide which company to activate first, and the way the board has developed it looks like this kind of a chevron shape here of German units so I think it might be worth trying to start attacking with Fox Company and Easy Company just to make sure we can we can get a foothold on the beach if Dog Company are a little bit slacking we can cover with the um, supporting supporting fire with luck if we can get everybody on the board okay so let's start with um, let's start with with Fox Company, they're closest to me, why not? So we'll start with um, this unit here, the supplies. Let's get the supplies up off, off the beach, keep them safe. We need two at two advance points because of the shaky counter, um, sorry, the shaky hold of the grappling hook. Um, let's roll. And we have an event. Now, those of you who are familiar with the game know that you do start the game with one of these face down. Probably can't quite see that on the edge of the screen. It's a very big board. We do have one face down, but the one we've drawn is a time increment, which we then place uh, on the deck so that we can't actually see what was originally withdrawn. Um, so the time increment has moved on already. It is still uh, this unit's activation, can't remember, nope, it was the supplies, wasn't it? Still the supply unit activation. So let's try and get over that cliff with a minimum of us and roll the red die. Hopefully you can see that it's quite difficult to get it all on the screen. Okay, we have one, uh, one um, advance point plus a ranger counter. I will save that advance point for a later date and um, pull the ranger counter, which are all the way over the other side of the table. Lots of counters. I've just grabbed one and we have open fire from Dog Company. Now that is not applicable here, I believe. I do not think we can actually activate dog company when they're in the sea because they're all on their boats. Um, 
to be fair, I would have to spend a bit of time sifting through the rules, but I'm pretty sure you don't, you cannot fire from the boat. So we're just going to say open fire in dog company is a non-event this time. Slightly disappointing perhaps because we could have used that to weaken up the fairly strong forces of the Germans just there. But let's roll again. It's still this unit's activation. Let us roll green because we just want the one activation point. And we have it. That's great. We've got the activation point, but we do take some damage. So we flip that counter, spend the previous activation point with the green one, get that guy up onto the cliff, move the rally point to the appropriate space. And then I think we will pause. We will not roll this die. We will instead consolidate. And because our rally point is next to uh, the the counter, uh, or starting in the same space as the counter, we can increase the health. And in this instance, that supply unit will go up to seven health points, which isn't bad. That unit's been activated. We now move to the next unit in Fox Company. And hmm, let's, let's activate this guy here. He's in the C still, so we'll have to follow the C procedures. Uh, we only need one to get across the firm the firm uh, grapple on the now collapsed cliffside. So let's roll, let's roll the yellow in the hope that we can get two activation, two advancement points. We've got a time card, sorry, a clock face. So we pull one of these, which this time is a time card. So we move the time forward one more time. Okay, going through the hours already. Um, we do need to carry on. So let's roll the red die. I uh, don't want to roll the black die in case we end up um, having something horrible happen, but we haven't really got enough available advance points on the green die to get to where I want to go. So let's go with the red and we have a draw a card and then stop. Okay, so let's draw that card. Two on the time track. Wow, we are burning through that time this morning. Um, so that then stops, flip over the counter, and we move on to this unit down the bottom here. We can't be much slower than uh, the previous one. So let's roll red again, trying to, trying to get to that beach. We will, of course, need three to cross that cliff there. We have one advance point, which I will make the most of, and then we do need to draw another rainbow chip. And this time we have open fire in Fox Company. Okay, so we can actually use that. So, but we can only really use it on this guy here. We can um, fire either there or there, but I think it would be sensible to try and fire at that flat gun, clear a path for our, our neighbors here. Um, so we will roll. We've got seven strength points at the moment. That's four dice. Um, total divided by two and then round it up. So we've got four dice and sixes are hits, fours are pinned, fives are half a hit. So we rolled two pins. We could only apply one pin though. Uh, multiple pins don't really happen. That flak gun now cannot roll any, well, cannot move unless we force it to retreat. Okay, still have to go forward. Uh, yellow, I think, this time. Because of the cost of getting across there and we can't stop. Or should I roll black? Green's nowhere near enough. Um, yellow may be much more risky. Okay, let's try and at least get off the beach, on, onto the beach even, which we've done. One hit, one advance point plus a hit. So we take a damage, uh, reducing that down to nine, then we can advance. Now, remember, we're on the beach, these guys disappear, but before they do, we roll for the uh, grapple. Roll a six, nothing here. Remembering just, you know, this might not make much sense, but the difference between the grapple from the boat and the grapple from the rangers themselves is it's much harder to get a decent result 
when you use the grappling hook on the boat and in this case we will have failed completely um, we still do need to press on and this time in order to do much of anything we need to roll the black because there's no way we'll get across there with just the green die so let's roll um, we could make it easier by flipping flipping that counter but we may need to use him for something else let's just see how we go okay we have rolled all three that's fantastic but we do take a hit so let's take that hit reducing him down to eight and then I'll spend all three get myself up there move the rally point um, and then I will consolidate no actually there's not much point consolidating because I'm already at high health or the highest I can go um, you can never go above eight through re through the um, regrouping type action or the health health action. Um, so let me roll this anyway. May as well see what happens. Get ourselves up that beach, and we have one advance and a, a ranger token. So we move the unit. We're already onto the land. Remembering that that mine failed isn't such a worry unless we draw a dodgy event chip. Um, I do need a ranger's event chip, and we have found cover. We found a trench. Okay, awesome. So with cover, just checking my handy play aid, we need to place the marker in a space with the ranger unit, and that will have an effect on uh, if we are hit at any point while in that space. Basically, we remove the counter I'm about to place in order to. Um, negate some damage which is pretty awesome um but trench goes off to one side uh, okay that unit's activation is done we can't consolidate because we are at the end of the dice and we start now with the last remaining unit in fox company which is this one here on landing craft 884 uh, and while they are so far away from the action I have a suspicion we're going to have to roll all those dice regardless. So let's try and catch up. Let's pro it's, it's risky, but let's try with the black die. And we are bad idea. We've rolled a stop and a time, or an event card, I should say, not time. Ah, not so good. German counterattack. That means uh, we move the attack chart to the attack track three spaces. The command bunker is still on the board. It's that. It's in that square there. Um, and of course, there we are now. Somewhat closer to the first German counterattack, which is basically a bunch of stuff coming on the board for us to get over. More obstacles, if you like. Fox Company is done. Let's move over now. Let's skip Dog Company for now, and let's try and get some something done over in. Um, over in Easy Company, which is just here. So it's those spaces there. Let's start with this one. Okay, I don't want to roll black again, although we have the same challenge. Getting there, getting over, firm hold though, much, much more likely. We could do that with just one activation point. So let's roll red. Take a hit and move one space. So let's move one space take the hit and then let's roll yellow take another card I'm rinsing through these cards today right the relief column advances that means the end of the game is on its way we still got a fair number of spaces to go before we reach the end of the game but the reinforcements are on their way when the reinforcements column hits its final space the game is over on the assumption the game hasn't ended due to the time track before that um, but that brings us no closer to um, the beach so it's gonna have to be the black die we can't get there with the green one so let's roll the black one and we stop and another card wow we're having really bad luck today uh, time's moving on Okay, so we've used up a third of the first day already, and only four units are actually on land. That's shocking. Um, 
Okay, uh, so that unit's being activated. Let's move this one next or activate. No, nope, we can't do that. That's dog company. Let's do this one. The support LCA, let's do that one. Uh, not quite so far to go. Let's start with red. And we stop again. Right, okay. We are going to have to change tack. That's another two spaces further towards the first German counterattack. Wow, two more spaces and they will attack. Um, there's a there's a track on here, if you're not familiar with it. Um, okay, that sucks massively. We need to rethink our strategy here. Uh, I think we're going to have to just do less dice. The push your luck element is working against me. Um, okay, let's go over to, to this unit here. Um, and we will try to cross that cliff face. Uh, but before we do that, let's roll the green die. Hope for a single point that we can do as a grappling attempt. Let's go. Okay, we've taken a hit, but we have got a grapple attempt, which we'll do. Grapple attempts for the rangers are slightly f more friendly than um, they are from the boats. So here we're looking for a four plus to get some kind of hold. Roll a six and a two, that's an eight. So with an eight, we do actually get a firm hold. That is fantastic news. That will help immensely. Okay, now we only need one point to get us up over that cliff face. Um, there's a possibility of it. No, there's no prepared terrain underneath that incoming fire marker, but there is a machine gun. So let's um, let's roll yellow. Ah, we have to stop. End of activation for that guy. Wow, that sucks so bad. Um, that's really just, oh. anyway. Uh, easy unit in the corner here, supported by the company commander. Let's do the same tactic. Let's roll a green. I've drawn a card. Time moves on. We need three to get up there, unless we can do a grapple attempt. Let's do the grapple. Oh, I'm just not going to... There are no words. We stop again. Wow, that was not great. Okay. Fox is activated. Easy is activated. Let's move on to Dog Company, who are currently somewhat off the pace, although they're not because everyone else is off the pace too. Um, okay. Let's start here with the person who's nearest and we'll go for green just to get on that beach. Oh, wow, that is uh, another time card. Or, I call them time cards. Most of them are time, but we do have the odd other thing in there. But we have drawn a time card, a time increment card. So we're now eight time into the first day, which is about halfway, just under halfway through the first day. Uh, remembering, of course, that the more guns you get on the first day, the more points you can you can you can um, win. And we're halfway through the first day, and we've not even got on the beach. This game could be uh, a military disaster. I think is the lowest point, or possibly a disgrace. I'm not sure. I've had both in previous games. Put it that way. Um, but let's carry on the activation for that unit there. Oh my word, how many of those are there on this die? Um, activation stops. Our boat pilots are not up to par. Um, let's, let's go here. Let's move this one. Oh, I'm just going to roll black. It can't get much worse, can it? This says, all right, cool. One hit. We can live with one hit at this stage. It's on the Ranger because we're far enough out. So we're on the ranger. Any closer we'll hit on the boat, but we'll cross that if we get to it. We move three spaces, gets us on to the beach. Fantastic. We'll do the grapple from the boat, the J projector launch. No particular effect. 
We are here, so one, two, three. Okay, so we still need three to get up over that cliff face. That's well green, hoping we can do a projector, a grapple from the ranger himself. We've got one which we can use for the grapple or we can save, but we do need to take that hit first. Um, dog units there. Okay, do I save it? Do I grapple? Let's save it and see what happens with the yellow die. Wow, let's, I don't know what, let's just see if it happens. Look at that. I won't edit that, but anyway. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da, this one and this one remaining. The support LCA is coming straight into the face of a machine gun there, and it is the one of the weaker units on the board with no combat um, support from the commanders. So let's move this one. See where we go from there. Let's do that one. Um, uh, let's just roll yellow, see what happens. Time card. And another German counterattack. Wow. We have sailed past the first time uh, counterattack um, marker. So we're going to get a German counterattack. So we flip the counterattack marker to its other side to show we're now looking at the second counterattack. Counterattacks for the Germans. You have uh, there's a there's a procedure you follow. First thing you do is grab some of the grenadiers, um, and then a machine gun. So we get a grenadier and a machine gun, and then you place them two spaces in front of the ranger unit in the company zone being attacked. Okay, so. First counterattack is Fox Company, so we place them at random in front of our guys. Okay, two spaces in front, so absolutely at random we have a machine gun in front there. Uh, three strength grenadier. Well, we can't put two spaces there. That's a good question, actually. Okay, the ranger in the sea. We end up all the way off the edge of the map in row 13. That's actually not as bad as it could have been. We have another three strength grenadier this time. Two spaces is, is full, so we move one space behind. We're in the sea still, so another one. I put the top on the road, basically. Okay. Right, that's all that happens with the the German counterattack. You don't actually do any counter-attacking, you just put more people on the board, which um, leads to a range of challenges. Um, Stolius units activation. And there's only one more unit to go. We haven't got a choice, we've got to keep going. So let's roll red, try to get to that beach. We take a hit, but we do move one space. So let's move one space. The hit would have been taken there, so it's on the ranger. Um, let's roll, wow, if we roll green, we won't get to the beach. Um, so we're going to have to roll this anyway. Let's roll this one. Hope for the best. Oh, variable hits. Oh dear. Okay, variable hits and two advance points. Right, let's pop that there. Now, if memory serves, we take variable hits in that row on the boat. Um, yeah, C space two, we take the variable hits on the boat. We have two hits, which means I think we're dead. We've taken two hits on the boat because of we're in, we're getting close to the shore. The machine guns can hit the boat. We cannot use the company commander because they're in the sea. You just can't use them when you're in the sea. Therefore, we take those two variable hits from the machine gun on the boat. First hit damages it. Second hit sinks it. Bye-bye. We have lost the company commander for dog company 
with the boat. He went down with the boat, but he is a commander and therefore he is somewhat luckier than some of the others. While well, we've lost the unit, we do roll a die, halve it rounding up and placing on the time track. So when the time track reaches our number 10, we will get that commander back. Now, it's, as with many things, it's halved, rounded up, so it's two spaces forward, but we have lost the unit. Get rid of the rally point marker. Okay, that is bad. Um, I said it couldn't get much worse, and I was so wrong. Okay, last unit, this activation is that one there. Let's roll the die. I'm going to do much more carefully this time. Uh, one advance. Not bad. Um, roll the yellow. One advance and a hit. Damn. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just hope we don't get another hit. Um, let's roll red. Okay, we are shaken. Um, I think shaken in the sea we get a marker but we do carry on okay uh this isn't good um all in the black guy we've taken two hits um wow okay that was slightly wrong we shouldn't have taken the original hit on the boat we should have taken it on the ranger um, but we now take two hits in the sea anyway, because it's a variable hit this time. And um, the boat is sunk regardless, losing dog unit and the supplies. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, wow, that is deeply uncool. Um, okay, so we have activated all of Fox Company, all of Dog Company, and all of Easy Company. That is the end of the activation. Um, we do now need to do the post-activation tidy up. Um, first thing we do, move the time increment one step. Uh, we do have, I think, somewhere the battalion commander. I don't believe he was used yet, but he's there. Therefore, we can move that relief column up as well. Um, rally point markers flip to the rally side. Um, we can reattach. Is that worth doing? Don't know. Let's leave it for now. Um, and then we remove anything pinned from the Germans. So we've potentially lost some of our early advantage there. Um, but anyway. That is the end of the first activation of a game of crowbar. Okay, cool. Very eventful, I think you'll agree. Um, I think I will pause the video there. I don't want to go and uh, have to edit this into a highlights reel because I'm having too much fun, to be honest. What an awesome start to the game, losing units. The invasion is not going well for the Rangers, but we shall see what happens as we go forward. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and join me for the next activation. See you soon.